Hi, this is Karen Mistrua with Karen & Company Realty. Here today, January 5th, 2017, with a quick real estate market update for those of you interested in Parker, Colorado. Some of you might be wondering how did 2016 look compared to 2015? There really wasn't much of a difference. About 2,000 homes sold, a little over 2,000 homes sold in Parker in 2016. Same number almost exactly to 2015. The only difference we're noticing is that it's taking about a week longer for these houses to sell in Parker, which is pretty much common across the board with all the neighborhoods. The inventory is still very, very low in Parker, but the days on the market are inching on up there. Now, I do have some specific numbers for neighborhoods in case you're interested. In Stonegate, which is our biggest neighborhood in Parker, it's 3,500 homes. Right now, there's only one house for sale, if you can believe it, in Stonegate. And it's been on the market almost two months. However, overall, there were 157 homes sold in Stonegate last year, compared to 191 in 2015. Pretty much an indication that we have a very low inventory level right now in all of Parker and in Stonegate and every neighborhood. And it's taking a little bit longer to sell those houses, about three weeks compared to two weeks in 2015. Now for Bradbury Ranch, we only have one house for sale in Bradbury Ranch as well. And 123 sold last year, and it took about 15 days for those houses to go on the market, or under contract, excuse me. Challenger Park has no homes for sale right now, and they sold 19 of their homes last year in about 26 days. Cottonwood only has one house for sale, and that's a really hot neighborhood. Those houses only average about nine days on the market and 91 sold last year. Clark Farms, only one house for sale in Clark Farms. And the average days on the market is about 17 over there and 99 um, houses sold last year in 2016. What does all of this mean? Basically, just kind of what I said at the beginning. The inventory is very low. However, interestingly enough, the days on the market are inching on up there. I think that's an indication that the interest rates are increasing a little bit and we can probably will continue to see that in 2017. Buyers are getting a little bit pickier with what they will buy and sellers are raising their prices. So all of that might indicate that the houses will stay on the market a little bit longer, but it really depends this year on what sellers decide to do. If they decide to start listing their houses, the market could change completely. That's it for now for January. If you are interested in having a complimentary market analysis done for your home, feel free to contact me at the email below or give me a call at 303-798-2290. Happy January. See you again next month.